Hey friends, it's Dr. Rev Sketch. I'm back at you. Um, this is kind of an important message. It's not kind of important. It is a very important message. God spoke to me and he said, I want you to give my people hope. I want you to give them encouragement. You know, whatever, whatever, you know, first off, first off, let's pray. Let's just pray. Let's just pray together. Come on, let's together. Let's just pray. Father God, we just want to say thank you for this day. We, we know that your will is above all. You said in your prayer, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give unto, this day our, give un, unto us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we have forgiven those who are indebted to us. Bring us not into temptation. But deliver us from the hands of evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and always. Amen. Did you hear that? On earth as it is in heaven, his will, his will, not ours, his. So no matter what happens or who is president, whether it's Trump or whether it's Biden, I'm not saying it's going to be Biden. I'm not saying it's going to be Trump. I know in my heart, that President Trump was elected in 2020. I know in my heart, and I'm sure you do too, for those of you who supported him. But if Biden is the president, I know that God's going to get us through this. I know no matter what the devil did, God's going to make sure things work out for the good for those who love God. So I know, regardless of how it see seems right now, regardless regardless of how you're feeling, we will have that victory. We will have that victory. God's not going to let communism take over the country. He's just not. He's not going to let injustice reign. Maybe for a, for a moment, maybe for a little while, so that things can be prepared. Because judgment still has to come. You have to understand that. You have to understand the way God sees things. Okay? God wants judgment to come. He wants his people to be secure. But in order for judgment to come, things have to be found out. If we didn't have today happen, for example, we would have never found out that Mike Pence was a person who didn't agree with the American people. We would have never found that out. We would have never found that out. So, thank God for the revelations. Amen? Thank God for the revelations. And I'm sure he's got many more to come. And it's not over. It's not over. It's, it's not over until President Trump secedes. And even then, it's not over. You've still got litigation. You've still got uh, cases in courts. Okay? It's not over. There's still plenty of evidence saying that they cheated. Even if Biden were to be sworn in, there's still litigation and a massive pile of evidence saying that he is guilty of things. He's a criminal in the Ukraine. So, have faith, keep the faith, trust God. And I'm preaching to myself here too. Okay? Trust God. Put it in His hands. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name, that's Christians, those are who, who's called by his name, right? Humble themselves. How do you humble yourself? You humble yourself by letting go of yourself. Sackcloth and ashes. You know what that means? To put on sackcloth and ashes? To dress in the most awful... Have you, first off, have you ever felt sackcloth? Sackcloth, like, uh, like um, burlap. Okay? Burlap. It's a really rough material. I have a blanket here. That's, uh... It's made of a stitch. This is actually a pretty comfortable blanket, but if, if you rub on this part, it's really rough. Sackcloth is twice that. I've heard people say polyester is one of the most un uncomfortable materials because it rubs on your skin and it itches. Sackcloth is twice as bad. Um, burlap sack, okay, that usually they usually kept potatoes and stuff in, but uh, burlap sacks is those sacks that you can literally pull the string out and make patterns out of it. 
It's really rough. Really rough and scratches your skin. In the old days, they used to say, if you want to humble yourself, put on sackcloth and pour ashes on yourself. What, what did that do? What did that do? It took away comfort. It took away your comfort. It's kind of like fasting. Um, fasting, when you fast, you don't, you don't eat. And so your body begs you, feed me, feed me, feed me. And you're going, no, I'm not going to give in to you. Because I want to accomplish something. Amen. So, figuratively, I mean, if you have sackcloth and want to do some sackcloth and ashes, that's fine. I mean, that's, wow, that's really humble. Uh, but if you don't, and you just humble yourself, get down on the floor. Do something you would never do. Get down on the floor, get down on your knees, get down on your face, and pray to God. Tell Him that you want His will. Okay? I'm sure it wasn't comfortable for the disciples to do what they did. But they did it. Jesus said we can't expect to not be persecuted, to not go through tribulations, and to not go through trials. We have to take up the cross and follow him. We have to do it in love, too. So we have to let them know, yeah, I know, I know you cheated. But it still doesn't change my love. You're still a human who's made in the image of God. We've all fallen short. We've all broken the law. Every one of us. There's not a guiltless one of us. Okay? We may not, no longer be living in that perpetual sin, but all of us have sinned and fallen short. Amen? So instead of going against, let's just pray for our enemies. Amen? Pray for those who persecute us. This is, this is a message from the Lord. Pray. Pray for those who persecute you. Pray for your enemies. Love your enemies. Do good to them. You know why? Because it heaps fiery coals upon their head. What does that mean? It makes them feel guilt. I'm sure if somebody went up to Nancy Pelosi and said, You know what? I'm a Trump supporter, but that's okay because I love you. I'm sure if somebody went up to Chuck Schumer or Adam Schiff or any of those others and instead of looking at their their faults, instead of looking at their their flaws, and I've done it too, I'm guilty. To go up to them and say, you know what, I, I'm an avid Trump supporter. I, I support Trump. I support America. I love America. But not at the cost of my relationship with God. See, I love America. I'm an American patriot, but not at the cost of my relationship with Jesus. I love my Jesus. You can hang me if you want to, but I love my Jesus far more than I love my country. Amen? I wear the Christian flag far more than I wear the American flag. I love the American flag. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> I love the stars and stripes. But I cling to the cross. Amen? And we all need to be clinging to the cross right now. And we need to ask God, is this what you want? Is this what you want? And if, and if so, I'm cool with whatever you want. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to fight with God. Okay. But I do believe the message of the prophets. And they said that Trump was going to be in for four more years. So I'm holding fast to that. I don't know when it's going to happen. He didn't say four consecutive years. I'm just saying. I'm not cool with it. I'm not cool with, with uh, communists taking, taking the elections. But, you know, it, God's will. Not mine. God's will. And I still believe we're going to see a victory. I still truly believe that. I have that in my heart. I have that, I have that feeling. God keeps giving me that song. I'm going to see the victory. Yeah, I'm going to see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Sing it with me. We're going to see the victory. And we're going to see victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Sing it in your heart. We're going to see a victory. Yeah, we're going to see the victory, 
for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Yes, the battle belongs to you, Lord. Give it to him. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. To you, Lord. The battle belongs to God. Let's give it back to him. See, we're going to see that victory, but we got to learn how to let go and let God. Amen? This is what God's telling us right now. We're going to see the victory. We're going to see the win. But you've got to give it over to God and say, God, I'm not going to carry this load anymore. Whatever happens, happens, but I want you to have the glory and the honor and the praise. You take it. You take it. But I do believe what the Bible says. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. I will hear them and I will heal their land. I believe that our voices have reached the throne of God. I truly believe that. And I believe that our victory is coming. But we've got to continue to humble ourselves. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. We spent too many years thinking that we were invincible. And we're not. But God is. It's time we take it out of our hands and put it in His capable hands. We're going to see the victory. Say it again. We're going to see the victory. But the battle belongs to the Lord. Amen? I love you no matter what party you are. No matter what skin color you are. No matter what nationality you are, I love you. Why? Why? Why would you love me? Because, here it is. Because Jesus loves you. See, Jesus never left you. You might have left him, but he never left you. Okay? That's my motto. He never left you. You might have left him, but he never left you. He's always there. He's just waiting for you. That's it. He's just waiting for you. Okay? I love you so much. Jesus loves you so, 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 so very much. I hope you know that. I can say it till I'm blue in the face, but it has to be you who takes it in. Okay? Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you were encouraged. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you get all my videos. Yada, yada, yada. Okay? That, that said, that done, put aside. God bless you. God keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. Shalom.